let's talk about the tripling of our soul. In the prior video, we, talk about, we talked about the doubling of our soul, which formed the vesica Pisces. This is the fish symbol or the eye of the needle symbol. We talked about how this was a death and a resurrection within us, going from the ego to the heart. It's about forgiveness and letting go. But when we triple our soul, there's another energy that begins to contact us and we begin to grow larger and we become more powerful. This sacred geometrical shape associated with the tripling of our soul is called the threefold flame. It's connected to fire. It's connected to the baptism of fire. It's connected to the triangle, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And it's about not balancing just the male and female, the Adam with the Eve, but actually going through a marriage of flesh and spirit. So it's really about growing ears and listening to the voice of spirit and obeying it so that our physical body is in divine union with a divine order of God or a natural flow or a spirit which moves us and helps us to become more adept and more powerful, not just for ourselves, but for the greater good. Now, we will talk about the quadrupling of our soul, which is the number four. 1111 is a gateway, which is the number four. And the fourth heart chakra is associated with this process as well. But for now, let's focus on the threefold flame and how when you begin to triple your spirit, you grow wings. And these wings help you to astral travel, helps you to become an oracle, helps you to, be, to see things outside of the material world and to become more adept. It is like a school. It is a place of learning. And when you triple yourself, just know that you are about 12 years old spiritually. When Harry Potter was 12, he left the muggles and he formed his trinity. This is Harry Potter, Hermione, and Weasley. You may see this trinity manifest outside of yourselves by the relationships that you form. When Neo Anderson left the matrix, he found his trinity. And the trinity may be one person, but it will be a energy that helps you to leave an old world behind. So when Jesus was 12 years old spiritually, he left the Bible. He was not walking on water and raising the dead. He was seated and learning and teaching. But when we leave the muggles, the munchkins, we go and learn to become powerful, like Neo Anderson, like Harry Potter, or even like Dorothy Gale. We will leave muggles behind. These are people who are part of the moon energy. This is people who follow um, sin, shame, ignorance, and narcissism. This is why muggles and munchkins begin with M-U. It's like the money system. It's like the moon. It's like the... Uh, murderers, or it's like, you know, a bunch of jerks. <laughs> we leave ignorance behind. And yes, we have to cut off those relationships. And this is why Jesus said, if you don't hate your brother, your mother, your sister, even your own life, you can't make it through that eye of the needle. The eye of the needle is very important to go to zero point energy so that you go to the school of learning, which is like a mansion. Emerald City, reflecting the green heart chakra, Hogwarts, reflecting, hearing the voice of spirit, and even Jesus said, my father's house has many mansions, and he goes to prepare that place for you. So we are all currently, many of us are in a school of learning. Learning, We know this because we see this everywhere on many platforms where we're beginning to see the Bible as an allegory. We're beginning to see the Christ within us and outside of ourselves everywhere. And so it's like we've gone through a polar shift and we've, we are going to a parallel world where Jesus left at 12. He died at 33. 33 minus 12 is 21. 12 and 21 is a mirror world. So when we heal all seven chakras and we become the seven seeds of life, it's like the, the character 11. Here we have seven characters reflecting that she has become so powerful because she has become the, the flower of life, which is seven circles, seven seeds of life. The seven wounds of Christ being activated by the seven spirits of God and walking on water, raising the dead and becoming as powerful as Christ. 
The threefold flame is a divine spark. It's the seed of divine divinity within our heart chakra. It's the seed of the inner Christ or the inner Buddha. And this threefold flame embodies the qualities of love, wisdom, and power. So you're going to learn to become powerful here. It's the I am presence. It's the zero point energy. It's becoming nothing and everything, no one and everyone. It's about marriage of flesh and spirit because we have balanced the Adam and Eve within us. It is the secret chamber of the heart and is the eighth ray and the eighth petaled chakra. And it is um, three fiery plumes of the Holy Spirit, pink, yellow, and blue pulsations of living flame. It's like getting your wings. It's like you're... You know, you don't have to deal with ignorance anymore. You're, 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 you know, stand your ground. You know you're in the right place at the right time, and you know you are following a divine order of God. So power to run the body, the faith and goodwill of the divine intent, wisdom to nourish the mind, love to fulfill the destiny of the soul in conscious outer manifestation. So this is rewarded by individual creative fulfillment. Actually stepping into your divine purpose and not forsaking it. When we fell from our divinity, man's opportunity to exercise his free will was curtailed. By cosmic addict, the threefold flame was reduced to one sixteenth of an inch in height. And so we are, we have to have help in order to grow our soul. And this help is forgiveness, letting go, balancing the male and female, the Adam and Eve, and then going through a divine marriage of connecting flesh with spirit so that we can step back into our divinity, which was our intended purpose before Adam was cut into Eve. And even in the gospel of Thomas or the gospel of Philip, it says, when the Adam is connected to the Eve, we go back to eternal life. And so it is about balance, but it's also about don't give up. Continue to study. Continue to expand your knowledge. Continue to teach. Allow the voice of spirit to throw, flow through your mouth. Work through your hands. Use some kind of medium in your life to allow spirit to become active within you. So when the threefold flame expands within you, your spiritual light and power will increase exponentially. And so... Think about how hard it was for the character Eleven on Stranger Things um, to step into her power and not be afraid of it. It is very scary. For instance, when you begin to see through other people's eyes on the spirit realm, you feel like you're them. You are in their body thinking their thoughts, seeing through their eyes. It's very difficult to not carbon copy their thoughts and their emotions onto ourselves. And so um, becoming the Harry Potter... Um, understanding the number 11. Harry Potter's name has 11 letters. Uh, Neo Anderson has 11 letters. Dorothy Gale has 11 letters. Jesus Christ has 11 letters. And the character 11 from Stranger Things, this number 11, is about becoming Jesus Christ, becoming the Christ, being the embodiment of it by actually having faith and forgive and let go and allow this energy to push us to our purpose even if it means letting go of muggles and munchkins and pieces of ourselves that were once ignorant and limited in power and understanding. If you are going through this awakening and you are tripling your soul, keep going. Don't look back. You might turn to stone. <laughs>